Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to link between two different apps. So I'm going to create one app that's going to link to another and one app that's going to be the app that is opened when you click on the link and that app is going to have multiple screens so you can go to different routes. So I've just created my app and I'm now going to go ahead and open it in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to add a scheme inside the app that I'm linking to and that's going to be what I refer to when I am using the linking library and so yeah when I publish this app it's going to have this link to scheme that um, other apps will refer to it by. Change directory into my link to app and then I'm going to go ahead and install Expo Router and a few different um, dependencies that I have. So one's Expo Linking as well. This is just going to allow me to add the navigation to my app. I'm using Expo Router so I can just create a folder called app and then I can have an index.js in there which is going to be the one that opens when a user opens my app. I'm just importing the different components I'm going to need from React Native. Then I go ahead and export my um, screen, which is just my home screen. For the screen, I'm going to have it linked to the other page, to so my user settings page. And by putting that username in square brackets, it's going to be passed as a um, parameter. And I can define that parameter here. You can see that, that um, the parameter name aligns with the um, what is in the path name. I'm also giving some text so when the user is looking at this page they're going to see a view user um, button effectively that they can then open that um, that user settings page for miscoding. Just quickly setting up some styles for this page, but it's going to be pretty basic. Just centering everything inside that page. Now I'm going to create the user settings page and for that I'm going to just use that square brackets username um, so that it aligns with that path name and so it will resolve correctly and um, automatically link to this page. So this is um, Expo Router and it makes it like quite easy to add new routes without having to um, go ahead and manually define them somewhere, which you would have had to previously do. I'm going to get that username and I'm going to get that from this use local search params which I've imported from Expo Router. And I'm just going to go ahead and display that on screen so that it's clear that I am actually able to get that value out.
and I'll give that style to the view. And I'll go update my um, index page as well. I'm going to go ahead now and start my app. And I can sort of see that's failing to resolve that module. Um, I think that's what's happening here is when you're using Expo Router, you need to define um, basically that you're not using um, the normal um, app entry. So I need to go and specify that inside um, my package JSON. So I need to specify that I'm using Expo Router slash entry instead. That should clear up that issue. Awesome, I've got my view user and when I click it, it goes to welcome Miss Coding. I just saved my file so it would apply the styling. So now that I've got my basic application ready there for um, my linked to app, I'm going to go ahead and create the build configuration. I'm going to need the build configuration so that I can test that it actually works with linking to it so that it's got its own sort of standalone app. I'm going to specify simulator um, is true. Um, and the reason I want to do that is... Um, I want to be able to test on the simulator for iOS. Otherwise, I'd have to um, make sure I have like a development profile so that I can install on my um, personal device. Now that build profile is configured, I can go ahead and build that um, development profile for iOS. It's going to go ahead and ask me if I want to install Expo Dev Client because that's what's required to actually run the standalone app. And so I've said yes to that and it's going to go ahead and do that. And it's going to ask me a few questions and just go through some additional configuration I might need. Then it's going to go ahead and queue my build and start building when the queue, when the queue is ready for my build basically. So now I'm opening another tab in my um, terminal and I'm going to go ahead and create my, um, my linking app. So I'm creating a new app and this is the one that's going to link to the app I just created. I'm calling it linking app. I'm going to then change directory into my linking app. And I'm going to install some things I need which is going to be expert linking. Now I've opened both my app inside Visual Studio Code. And I'm just going to go and add some necessary information to my linking app. When you're um, linking to an app in an iOS app, you're going to need to add to the info P list this um, key value um, pair. And so I go ahead and add that. It basically is the scheme, so or the scheme, the scheme that I defined in my other app. Dot JSON file. I'm 
I'm going to have a few um, status variables here. So I'm going to use state, um, which is basically a React hook that when the state changes, it will trigger re-rendering. So I'm going to have can open home, uh, which is a state variable, which when that changes will trigger the re-render, and set can open home, which will be used to change the state variable, and thus trigger the re-render. I'm also going to use this use effect react hook. What this does is basically it will run only once the page initially loads. You can see that because I've got no dependencies here. Um, so it basically will run only once because it will run whenever anything in this empty array, which was passed as second parameter to use effect, um, changes. Next I'm importing star as linking from expo linking. I'm just going to check whether I can open that URL. I'm going to check the URL and if I can open it, I'll set the relevant um, state variable. The other one I'm setting is set can open user. Um, and to do that, I'm going to need to specify the user path. So I've got my user path that I had, and then also my username, which I've specified as friend in this case. So if you remember previously, I had the um, route user slash in square brackets username, which meant that I could pass anything as a username. And it would be um, passed as a parameter. I'm going to go ahead and display these on screen. I'm also going to go ahead and add a button. The button The button that I'm adding is going to be used to open those pages. So I've got a title of open homepage and on press I'm going to um, use that linking to open the URL. And I'll just pass that URL there, the link to colon slash slash, which aligns with the scheme on the other app. So if you're wanting to use like some other app, like um, maybe Lyft or Uber, you can probably look at their documentation to find what their scheme is and include them in the app.json info plist array. Um, and also... Yeah, use it within the, your app itself to link to it. And that can create like a good immersive experience for your users like and integrate with other apps without you having to build out all that functionality. So now I'm going to go and configure the build configuration for this um, linking app. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and add that I want for iOS the simulator to be true, which means I can install it on the simulator rather than installing it on a physical device, which would require me to have an Apple developer account. This means it's really easy to test. Then I'm going to go ahead and build it for the... Um, platform iOS and profile development. It's going to go on here and prompt you to install the Expo Dev Client and I've agreed to this once again. And I'll ask for a couple of other configuration things before queuing your build. 
over on Expo and I have downloaded my Linked To app. I'm going to go ahead and install that on my IR simulator. So I've dragged Link To across and it's installed. Now I can go ahead and run Expo Start with dash dash dev client, which will open it inside that standalone Linked To app. See, it's looking for me to open it in um, Link To, and it will open it. This is just my Linked To app, so it's just the same thing where if I click View User, it will take me to Miss Codings. Um, user because that's what I'd hard coded in there for the home page. I reloaded that. You can see it just takes me back to the home page. Now, if you didn't have an app that you were using to test the linking to your app, you can actually run this command here, which is going to test it for you. So you can run this MPX URI scheme, open linked to, and then pass the um, URL you want to open and also the platform. And you can see that's prompting me to open linked to and it opens to that page. I can do the same again, but pass in my user route. And I'm just showing you that I'm putting in a different one and you can see it, see it opens my username. I can also show you a bad path and it's going to not fail. It's going to fail because it doesn't have that path. There you go. I hope that's a useful tool for you to know about so that you can test without creating a linking app if you want to enable people to link into your app. Now that I've shown you that, I'm going to go ahead and show you my linking app and show you how that works. Looks like it's still building so we'll wait for that and download it now. Also you can build them locally if you don't want to queue them um, but it's just a little bit more effort. Just in terms of what you need to set up. I just dragged my linking app across onto my iOS simulator. You can see it's installed there. Then I'm going to go ahead and run npx expo start dash dash dev client for my linking app. It says that link 2 is already running on port 8081, so it's running my linking app on a different port. This is good because I want both apps running so that I can click on through to my linked to app. It's going to go ahead and build that bundle and I've got those buttons. I'm just going to fix up the um, display issue that I'm having with the um, can open user. I just need to convert that to a string. You can see that's true. So I'm going to go ahead and click on open user page and it says welcome friend and I can go back to my app and I can also open the home page. If I click on view user there it takes you to welcome Miss coding because that's what I had coded. Whereas inside my linking app I had hard coded um, friend as the username route so that's why it was linking to um, welcoming the friend user. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub and I look forward to doing a new video soon.